Hi. Hello, everyone, and we're back. There's been a slight change of plan since the last episode because Juan did the polar night, polar, yeah. polar, polar night stage with the yodeling. I'm yodly, going to yodly, yodly, I'm yodly. going to tackle Airship McGee up here and uh, Gyro Man, that guy, and and win the day. So sharpen thy shovel. Um, I'll I'll make an attempt at doing it. So here we go. One, mm. two, three. Jellyfish. We are ascending. Oh, jump, this is oh my! This jump, screen looks jump, so Mega Man. Jump, like the falling platforms, not so much. But jump, just, like, the layout up. and the ladders. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is oh man. All right, so Such I can a love fly up and get, destroy uh, that. Mega Man. Uh, and that that I can get behind. There we go. <clears throat> I was curious as to why it wasn't letting me ascend. I guess. Oh. I think there's going to be a lot of falling in this stage. Yeah, probably. Vertical and vertical movement at its time for electric jellyfish. So... Shovel Knight 2, electric boogaloo. Oh! <laughs> oh boy. The joke everybody makes about sequels. Silly sequels. So, god dang it. But I happen to know there was a movie with that subtitle. <laughs> Yay! Oh boy. Get him! Get him with the fire! Yeah, we did it! Alright. Right. Moving along. Yeah, propellers! <clears throat> Jane is getting good at this movement shenanigans. You're getting good! I wish I was bringing my A-game right now, but <laughs> I'm just like so half-assed. But, but we, uh, we... Yeah! Oh, I made go, it! All right. Can, that can was I, actually pretty decent. Can I knock this guy's head off? Nope, not that one. Oh, That's shit. another stage. Can I go up there? Uh, nope. No, you can't. Alright, so... No. Oh. Watch out for crazy propeller dudes. Oh, these guys are... Huh. Nope. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Those guys are, huh, dead. <laughs> I lost all the jewels though. Eh, meh. We can get them back. Watch out for the cannonballs. We can just run stage 1 1 over and over and over again. And I tell you, that propeller knight, he's got balls of steel. It's, I think these might actually be iron. Balls of steel. Uh, my god. Balls, balls, balls of steel. Steel, steel. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, moving along. <laughs> Uh No shit lord, I'm not gonna lose to you here. Well done. Alright, so doing an amicable job of dealing with all these contraptions. Die, rat drone. Get out of here. I like these rats, they're, they're funny. Yeah, but like they're gonna deliver your mail someday. Yeah, they are just rats with propellers, little propeller stepped on them. They'll they'll rats. take the jobs from their merc. Those rats dick your jeeves. <laughs> oh god. What are we gonna do? We're gonna feed him to snakes. So <laughs> oh, all right, all oh, right. Oh, this is a Mega Man thing right here. Big, big black screen, and then yo, big sub boss dead. Oh, I get it. I see the mechanic now. I, I was just figuring they were gonna come at me with their. <laughs> <laughs> What was that about getting good? I'm working on it. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> I can't. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> Please, no. Oh, this is what I need. No. This is what I need after playing a stage and dealing with all that nonsense. No. <laughs> Move, cannonball. Balls of steel. Alright. No. No. I keep doing the Duke Nukem voice. And yeah, <laughs> Duke Forever was pretty poop. Um, I, I didn't like a lot of its gameplay mechanics. Specifically, I didn't like that when fighting a big boss, all you really had to do was shoot the living crap out of it, and then when you ran out of ammo, run to the unlimited ammo box. I mean, seriously, that was, <laughs> that was just dumb. 
But but I love the unlimited ammo box. Absolutely half-assed is what that was. Um, learn to play stuff in levels. Oh, levels. I can hit the bomb at the dudes and kill them. Anyway, uh, apparently they just released like the Duke 20th anniversary uh, world tour, and I'm kind of curious about it because Duke 3D was a good game, and I'm curious about like how it works with like this new engine. Apparently they made it like true 3D. To play classic mode. Oh, cool. It sounds cool, yeah. Uh, I don't know, I'm, he to... I'm hearing mixed things about it. I hear it has bad audio. Huh. I hear, like, the old audio sounds really, really muffled, like, even worse than previous releases. Huh. And then it clashes with, like, newly recorded voiceovers from John St. John. Aww. So that was, like, poorly implemented. Sad face. Yeah, I know. So I'm, I'm really on the fence <laughs> about getting it. Because I already have the Megaton Edition. I mean, like, if you didn't get it before they took it down, then I get your shit out of luck. But, <laughs> you know, I got it, and it's great. So, um, yeah. That, that's my thoughts on the Dukester. Uh, I honestly think they could do a new Duke game, but I, I feel like I feel like he needs to, um, he needs to be maybe slightly reimagined for a new era. Yeah, maybe, I can see maybe that. Maybe come off as a little less misogynist, <laughs> but he could still be a badass. I mean, you know, just, just, there's a way. I know there's a way to do it without playing him down and making him seem less badass and macho, you know. Yes. Yeah. If there's a fine line that needs to be walked, I think. Yeah, that, uh... Oh god, that's not good. Because I'd sure love there to be a good, like, new Duke game where you, you know, go around and get the shit out of space aliens, you know, that would be fun. Yeah, that, that doesn't seem like a bad premise. Alright, you can get this. So yeah, that was, that was just me going off about Duke for a few minutes. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, I have to be careful here. Yeah, watch out for those guys. Yeah, they're problematic. They, uh... Don't have balls of fail. <laughs> I'm working on it. They have given me a myriad of troubles on the 3DS version. Oh yeah? Yeah. Do you, do you play the 3DS version? I, I may have asked this before, but do you play it with the uh, 3D effect on or off? Again, do I want to play on the mode that makes me want to gouge out my eyes with a spoon? <laughs> Alright then, yeah, yeah, I did ask you that before. <laughs> yep. I think it was the first episode, too. Yeah, I suppose. I, I, uh, I forget things like that because I don't watch myself. That's okay. <laughs> but you took. Look, if I watched myself, it's because you put it on. <laughs> yes. Because they're good. And even then, I was like half paying attention. Speaking of getting good. Don't be funny. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't fuck up on purpose. Ugh. Alright. Alright, so here we go. Alright. Do it. Run the gantlet of floating balls. How are those? Are they just really slow moving and they're being launched from below, or... Are those the cannonballs? Just, are those just floaty balls. There are cannonballs that are being, fi being fired up from below. So slowly launched, then. They have a slow velocity. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Look at that Castlevania. Dracula is bored right now. Get with it, Shovel Knight. Belmont's making his way up the tower. <laughs> oh boy. Actually, this, uh, this sort of airship thing also kind of reminds me of Sonic. Like Sonic 2. Oh boy. There's that airship stage. Oh, I yeah. Can't believe I just ate shit there. Yep. Why are there six of them here? Because torture. Uh, <laughs> fine. Like, this level seemed to start off easy enough, and then the designer was like, oh, I'm gonna throw a bunch of shit at the player. Let's just kick up the notch a little bit. <laughs> It'll be okay. So I'm just gonna say Yola Swag and beat this. Alright. Yeah, this part looks a little, yeah, a little tough. Because you gotta deal with the wind, plus yeah. falling, uh, plus enemies that fly, plus falling platforms. Yeah, there's a lot to think about. Cannonballs come in. Hi, cat. Kitty, you're so adorable. I have to show you guys a picture of the cat during the stream when he meows at some point or another. When my editing skills aren't shit. Right now, you need to work on your platform jumping I'm, skills. I'm working on it. Don't be fun of me. 
<laughs> Fuck! Ah, I just want to make it over the gap. Uh, yes, instead of falling into it. Die, Mr. Green Person. What are those things? Even? They're just like little green cloaked, skinny flying creatures. I hate this. I fucking hate this. Welcome to my pain. But I love hate it. It's like I'm a masochist. Right. I'm doing this to myself. You're, you are. You are hate fucking this game right now. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> Okay. Alright, so... Go for it. Go for broke! <laughs> what is that from? Uh, Street Fighter Alpha 3. Oh, okay. I mean, it's just a saying, but like that, the way I said it. Yeah. That's, that's Street Fighter Alpha 3. Because I know it was from a game I've recently heard, uh, but... Go for broke! Beat him up, guy! Face it straight! <laughs> Street Fighter Alpha 3! Yeah. I like Street Fighter. We did it! We, we well beat that section. Well done. Ball. Checkpoint! Oh boy! I can't wait to find a checkpoint! <laughs> I mean, I can't either, so... We just did. Yes. And now we'll find another and another before we fight... Air... Air... Shit, air, air, air man, gyro man, um, any other wind-based, propeller-based enemy from air, Mega Man. Airship <laughs> McGee. Every wow. Final Fantasy protagonist would be very, like, happy with this dude right now. Uh, um, <clears throat> you mean like Sid from Final Fantasy? Oh, God, this is probably bad. You need to go back down. Nice. Sid from Final Fantasy was the airship guy. Yeah, probably. In fact, uh, although, um, uh, Final Fantasy XV, I believe Sid is a, a rather attractive woman. Oh. Yeah. So, so I've heard. Alright. Yeah, so they've, they've gender swapped Sid. And, and I'm pretty sure she's wearing less clothing than any Sid ever. Oh. <laughs> um. Good one, Squaresoft. <laughs> a Square Enix, rather. Oh, fuck! I date myself when I call them Squaresoft. They have been Square Enix for more than a decade now. <laughs> oh boy. God damn it. Stop you it! Can do it! No! God damn it. <laughs> Let me up there. Fantastic. I'm not good at this game. Platforming is really tough. But I love it. It's it's an exhilaration in and of its own. I like jumping off buildings. There you go. Yeah, I did it. I figured it out. Not quite. Figure this out. Oh. Propeller rat. Uh, I wouldn't concern yourself with propeller rat now. Yeah, I can say screw him. Alright. Oh! God damn it. You missed. This one. Game over! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this can. I, I, I just. I turned the wrong way. Uh. So. Let me up there. Come on. Alright, one last attempt before we end the episode. Probably. No, no. <laughs> I can't go out like this. Bottoms up. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> now you're back at the bottom. Don't jinx me. <laughs> uh, there's nothing, there's literally nothing I could do at this point to jinx you. I, I don't. I'm not, I lost count of how many times I watched you fall. <laughs> don't make fun of me. But that's the best part. Wait, what? Making fun of me? Yeah, I, mean, I kind of have to. Uh -huh. 
Can you do it? Fight! Eh. Alright, I say jump over there. Uh, How do I do it? There's a secret thingy. Dinner. Or nope. not. It jumps. We just need more of those! Alright, well, I think this is a good place to end the episode after you've made that did jump. Did we get a checkpoint? There's a checkpoint right Let there. Let me go down. Let me go down. <laughs> Alright, so next time on Get Good Incorporated, we will not be hovering as much anymore, hopefully. We'll get the leaf shield. Yeah, except not. Mega Man so, 2. Yep. See you guys later. Bye.